tomorrow is the 1st of June, and we have all our little mescaline mixed flowers. All this lettuce is coming on really well. We've been harvesting it, but it's already going to seed. Uh, and this is arugula, very nice, tangy, and you can eat the flowers. But sooner or later, these are going to have to come out, and we're replacing with our summer crops. Now, here's our beet. It's doing really well, and that'll keep going, getting bigger and bigger and we're glad we thinned them out. Here's the peas doing magnificently, and here we have some broccoli, and again, you can eat the flowers, but this is getting to the end of its life and needs to come out. But however, we are having our summer crops coming along now. Here's our tomatoes, and in a month or two, these are gonna be very big, and because we planted them on the south, they're gonna be shading the rest of the dome. Now here we have, across the pathway here, we have some leeks, they haven't done that well. And you see the little flower, this means they're going to flower, so you've got to pull them out and eat them because otherwise they get very uh, tough. And here's a beet that's huge, but these leaves are very, very delicious to eat. We keep them pruned back, eat the small leaves, but again, this is going to seed, it's got to come out pretty soon. Now we're talk, going to talk about summer cooling. And we have various ways of cooling the dome in the summer. So this is our cooling fan. It's on a thermostat. And we usually set it for about 70. And so at 70 degrees, it brings in the cooling air. And that helps to keep the dome cool. This is the end of a little misting system. We attach a hose to this. And here's our little misting nozzles and they go all the way around the dome, and we, we can have those on a timer or a humidistat to uh, help, again, keep the dome cool. And also, this is the time of year, end of May, early June, to put up the shade cloth on the outside of the dome to cut down some of the intensity of the sun. So because we use this dome for meetings, we have an open area in the middle and a lot of people like to have a sitting place, but what we do is we have an umbrella. And what the umbrella does is it shades the gravel. As the sun moves across the sky, the gravel gets shaded, and so that helps to prevent the dome overheating. So you can have shade both inside and outside the dome. And the last way we keep the dome cool in the summer, of course, is the water tank. So make sure you keep the water tank topped up and in a very, very hot part of the world, I've known people to empty down the tank to about a quarter and then fill it up with really cold water. And that really makes a difference to keep the dome cool. So our other way of keeping the dome cool is with the top vents. And what happens is you have a chimney effect where the hot air goes out the top of the dome naturally and then cooler air comes in to replace it. And we have a screen door on this dome, so that helps to bring in cool air. And of course, we have these wonderful grapevines that put out a huge amount of foliage, and that helps to shade, again, shade the gravel and keep the dome cool. And I can feel the cool air coming in. I have my door to the southwest, where the prevailing wind comes, and so that cooling wind comes in and goes out of here. And we very, very rarely have any type of overheating in our growing dome.